Yeah. Some little import? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's probably fast. It's probably scary. All right, brother. Here we go. Moment of truth. We are about to go on a road trip to make some power in the MR2. Should we tell them where we're going or we just show them when we get there? No, nah, we'll just roll up. I mean, <laughs> we're making a special You're going to find out in this video, but you're going to have to wait yeah, another minute. Yeah, basically whoever, you know, you know, makes these computers is probably the, we're taking it to the best possible place to, uh, to get have it tuned. it tuned. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they, they know this software probably better than anyone, maybe even better than the guys that make it. <laughs> Perfect. Well, let's head there. Fire this thing up. I'm plugging my ears though. So good. <laughs> Squeeze. Can't get out. <laughs> Windows stuck up. <laughs> no, I don't have my mirrors anymore. For I'm real. relying you to guide me back. <sighs> Dude, it sounds so rowdy. Dude, she sounds pretty good. I'm pretty excited. Hell yeah. Well, we got about a seven hour drive ahead of us. Get this thing strapped down and hit the road. All right, all strapped down. Time to head to the dyno. Yes, sir. The old diamond cargo, baby. The old DC still kicking it. And the Cummins, still kicking it. Yeah, let's just not talk about the truck. Let's talk about the Cummins, brother. <laughs> Quick detour to Atlanta Airport. What is that? What is CTSV. What's up, like man? it, man. What's like up? it. <laughs> <laughs> that got his attention. Come on with it. Come on with it. Yay! What's up, man? Let's go, dude. I'm so pumped. This is going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Get you what are we windies. doing here? We'll get some windies. Sheesh. Yeah, we got to get some cross. We got to get out this <laughs> joint first. This place is nuts. Dude, Atlanta is, is, is not Atlanta place. is not, yeah. No Atlanta offense is, to Atlanta, but I could never. Dude, the traffic never here. Never be here. Dude, it's, all, it's almost one in the morning and there's... Dude, one in the morning and yeah, one in the morning and traffic's ridiculous. Decent. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> we'll get her. It always does like that when cold or is that just doing it when it's cold? Yeah, it's on like cold starts. Uh -huh. Sometimes it'll just crank, 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 pow. Uh -huh. And then it fires up. <laughs> yeah, right after the pop, it'll fire up fine. You know each other now? <laughs> What's that? You know each other? No, uh, no, we don't, I don't think we met last David. time. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Old Daddy Dave trying to get out the shot. <laughs> All right, guys, we made the seven hour drive over here to Fuel Tech. We're going to be dynoing the MR2 at the place where they probably know the computer the best. <laughs> so, yeah, I was joking, you know, I was, like, I was like, these guys, you know, they probably know the software better than the people who make it. Well, <laughs> they are the guys who make it, and they got the, uh, Hub dyno over here. This is going to be our first time ever putting a car on a hub dyno. We usually are always on Brent's chassis dyno, which actually, you know, you leave the tires on the car, but on this one, we'll take the tires off. It'll bolt directly up to the hub, so we won't have any slippage. We'll see exactly what the engine is doing on the dyno. And yeah, I saw some comments, you know, yeah. wanting Brent to be here. They're like, is Brent going to be tuning in the car? And you know, every time we're putting a car on the dyno, we gotta try to get Brent down here. <laughs> Even when I had the NSX on the dyno, I felt bad Brent wasn't there with me. But 
Yeah, Brett flew in to uh, hang out with us, but we got all the guys over here at Fuel Tech to help us get the MR2 as dialed in as possible. And we have two days here, so uh, today doesn't go as smooth or we need parts or something. We actually have tomorrow as well just to make sure we have as much time as possible to get it as sorted as we can so that by the time we head back, we can get to testing as soon as possible and just dial this thing in. So we have some setting up to do still, and we're going to be doing all that. And then once everything's set up, good to go, double check the car. We'll get it on the dyno at some point, and we still need to do like an oil change, a couple other little things, but other than that, she's ready to go. So, super excited. What'd you yeah, think, this, Brent? This is awesome. We haven't even really talked to Brent since we picked him up <laughs> last night. We were tired. We were drained. But it was like two in the morning. So you haven't even seen the car, really. I know. This is looked, It looks incredible. It's a lot different than the, it, yeah. the twin eBay setup. The, the fabrication, the videos don't do the fab justice. It looks good, and we got a real healthy turbo on it now, so I'm excited. We should make a lot of power. We've got Anderson here, so yeah. all the guys over here at Fuel Tech to hopefully help help us get this all dialed in. And I was going to say, if they can't get it dialed in for us, nobody can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> these I mean, are the guys, so right? I'm, I'm confident that part is easy. Let's as see. long as we did everything else right, yeah. uh, they'll take care of the ECU side of it. I sure hope so. Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> all right, so we need to calibrate our electronic wastegate real quick. Yes. And we just did an update on the fuel tech, and so, yeah. now there's a drop down window for it to make it nice and easy right there. So now it's going to, you can calibrate. So it will ex move all the oh, way. Oh, you can hear it moving in there. To make sure it will not over torque or break in the end because you need really to find it, the positions. Yeah. And that's it, it's calibrated. Yeah, yeah. you get calibrated successful. And um, <laughs> that is cool. That was fast. <laughs> because the the procedure, the original procedure designed by TurboSmart is really remove the cap, unscrew with your hand, and I go all the way with your hand, hit calibrate manually here. So they we done both ways. But when when we figured that their concern was not over torque by the, the X, because if you really apply 12 volts, it will crack and and will even lock sometimes. So you're not supposed to do that. So we offer, we we tell turbos runner, can we do auto calibration? Because they say on the instructions, don't do out any kind of auto calibration because they were concerned about going too fast to the end. So we actually apply like five percent torque only. And it's, so just do it very slow. So very once slowly, it bombs out, it stops. Reading, we stop. That's it. And we even come. To, we even apply the safety gap to the end. They recommend. So their original procedure is really, you need to remove Allen wrench to the end, calibrate, Allen range to the to the 100% calibrate, so that this is out so so much easier. So you have one E-gate, you can do two E-gates, even if it's a twin turbo, or, or like like the Ferrari, I have two electronic waste gates with one turbo. Uh, if you ever need to dump more boost, you need two. And some of the- I don't think we'll need two. Yeah. We want all the oh, boost. Yeah. Usually four cylinders, they don't even use that much. <laughs> we have a few settings here. So let's say the two-step target. This will be what what kind of boost you you wanna leave on the two step? As much as possible without doing a backflip. <laughs> it's probably going to be like 25, 30 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, this is different than CO2 boost controller. This is the actual boost, right. so it will actually target this number. So now it's not going to start up and have a giant explosion out the back. Go deaf for two days. <laughs> Got her all set up. It's starting up good now. Oh, just so we can check timing. Oh, yeah. Instead of going off the signal wire. <laughs> now we're running it like that. Oh yeah. Daisy, if you do. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a two step, let's hit up the engine.
<laughs> this is a hybrid, right? Yeah, 200 horsepower total. 200 horsepower hybrid go-kart. Those are just backing out on the electric motor right now? Yeah. Yeah, this is just electric to me. Wow. <laughs> That's just the electric motor. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, turn the engine on. It's on. Yeah, right? Where's the noises? It's like a mini car. You want to do gas too? You said that's a 600? That's a 600? Yeah. Oh yeah, it has a lot more in it. Shift it, homie! What's that? Grab another gear! Oh man, I'm trying. Is it not going? Yeah, I mean that's where I was just hanging out. Dude, this thing is crazy. Is that neutral? Uh, no, that switch in neutral. On a fuel tag. I care about the gear in neutral. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah. Damn right. It's fast with the electric motor, honestly. Yeah, well, it's really fast. It's stupid fast with the gas motor. Yeah. It's. We gave her too much right there. I think I started yeah, the gas yeah. motor. Right, so, so to reset it, come to a full stop, put it in neutral for the electric, uh, trying to drive it. So back up and kind of get ready for. We'll put the gas motor on to get it kind of straightened up. That's not good. You gotta get going come first. On. The motor's really hurt. If yeah, you watch that it, it's 1,000. <laughs> Holy crap, dude! Oh, that's <laughs> that was almost a thousand. 941. This thing is so cool. Let's go, right? <laughs> so you're gonna race it against the C8? Yeah. Let's see who wins. <laughs> Got the twin turb skis in the bed here. Right. I call this I call this charge pipe the Rapunzel intercooler pipe here because he has all this crazy twistiness going on. Yeah, because he has a water to air intercooler that normally goes back here, but he can't run it for the class, so they had to make that. It's a really cool truck. That's what's supposed to be back there. Yes. So we just pack ice in both sides of it. That's the biggest water to air I think I've like ever seen. I can pack up both of those full, leave the house, drive around for four or five hours, race the shit out of it, and the air temps never get above 61. Probably come back and grab your soda out of there and it's still cold. I've put monsters in it more than once. <laughs> swear to God. That's awesome. This thing's massive. So you just had to take it off because you can't run the... Can't run it, no run it in the class. And which I think is going to hurt me because that's it's quarter inch thick and that right there is 125 pounds. Just the intercooler is 125. Yeah, that's a lot of weight back there. So it helps, like that usually runs pretty good on that tire. But now we just pulled all the weight out of it, so we'll see. All right, guys, we are getting ready to put the MR2 on the hub dyno here. Daddy Dave just got finished with his truck, and we ran through all of the parameters, made sure everything was set up properly. We got both sets of injectors running now. We calibrated the electronic wastegate and played with the idle, double checked the timing, just made sure everything was set up. Ready to go. I'm starting to get a little nervous right here. I hope she 
holds together, puts down some good power, and we don't have too many issues here. Man, it's about to happen, guys. My Mark II is about to be back up and making some power. Please do good, MR2. Got the wheels off, gonna back it up. These are adapters that will go to our hubs and then they can bolt them directly to the hub dyno here. Then they can set the car down. We'll put some uh, chocks under the front of it, tie the front end of the car down and we'll be good to go. Sheesh buddy, look at that. Yep, time to fill her up with our Ignite E90. Yes, sir. Fresh out the barrel. Got the good stuff. Let's see that pour. Ooh. Hey, not terrible. A little dribble, not bad. We probably need to get a funnel for this in the future. Who drive? You drive this? Yeah, I drive her. Yeah, there's a big right there. Yeah, yeah ready to make a pass on a little import? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's probably fast. It's probably scary. Yeah, we need to hook that up. It would have just saved my car if I'd have pulled it three seconds earlier. Maybe two seconds earlier. <laughs> that was pretty cool. You going for a record? Yeah, we're trying. Are you? Trying to be the first in the sevens is the goal. What do you weigh? What does it weigh? How much do you weigh? Uh, 150 pounds. Oh, yeah. Uh, carbon doors. Yeah, those saved a lot of weight. Cheater. <laughs> Cheater. All right, we got the MR2 on the hub dyno over here at Fuel Tech, and we are getting ready to make some of our first pools, see where everything's at. We just got the oil changed, we let it warm up, and uh, they're about to get in it right now, fire it up, start driving this thing, start introducing it to some boost, start seeing where this thing is at. So, like I said, definitely a little nervous, hopefully she does good. Two steps at 7,000, shift at 12. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna start at 70 pounds. Yeah. Maybe like hey, seven. Let's ask. <laughs> Anderson, huh? how much boost? Chupia side. Ah, come on! <laughs> but honestly, like just driving with load on the dyno, it seems already very okay. I mean, the map was close. Yeah. 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 Ready, Brent? Yeah, I'm ready. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm, ex I'm excited. Seems good to me. Give we it got a shot. Lewis in here. Just ran him through operating the sequential. Look yeah! He's Maybe gonna be our one. dyno operator today oh, in the MR2. It. Do we have a two step on this thing? We don't. Nothing yet. No, Nothing we were gonna set up yet. the two-step okay, through so I'm the wheel. Okay, so load with that thing and just let it go. Yeah, just yeah. let it go. Make sure the air fuel ratio is good because that's like we allow, we allow like 35% plus and 10% less. Okay. And it's like should be like 11 or yeah. 11 something. So that's like this is like first test. High 10s, low 11. Yeah. 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 Just lift it like above 12 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So is that what it peaked at? That's like 185 pounds per hour of fuel in that area. That's how much it used on that one? Yes, yeah. in that area. So it used 185 pounds an hour and then it made basically 185 horsepower. So he's saying a good kind of rule of thumb is how many pounds an hour of fuel it uses almost equivalates to horsepower, which in this case it did exactly. So that was the first little rough up pull, just kind of see where everything's at. Only made 184 horsepower, we didn't see any boost yet. And uh, they're just cleaning up the fuel map, and we'll start turning it up. Step set up. We're gonna test it out real quick. I'm gonna go film behind the car. But uh, 
when it pops really bang like that, it's because it's lean. Okay. It needs to be a little more like yeah. that. I mean, it's more, more like, you know how those GTRs oh, yeah. go in? And they like just suck down and you can hear them like load up? Yeah. That's how it should sound. Less of the pop pop. It's usually, yeah. if you reach on a burnout, a uh, two step, it, you'll go, oh. and if you're lean, you'll pop pop. Right. <laughs> Almost reach. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That sounded it rowdy. Sounded pretty good. That sounded pretty good. Yeah, it sounds stable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What do you need? It right at yeah. So yeah. You, you want something like stable, RPM stable, and yeah, cool? yeah. It yeah. still kind of seemed like it took just a yeah. second to get there. But once it got there, but it once was, it got there, it was it crazy. Held seven perfect. Yeah. It held seven, right? Yep. yep. It's just that little dip. It sounds so good. Because you don't want to. It's even safer for the engine because you can really hold on two step, you know what I mean? It's not banging right. bad on the exhaust valves. Yeah, our, our old two step was <laughs> rowdy. Hit, you don't need to hold on just that. Yeah, like yeah. just like you can bump in, then yeah. hit it go. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, you can do it before the three drop. Yeah. The Unless you're you going pro throttle, tree. You already have both. Yeah. That's so fast. And we targeted 20 pounds that time. That's fast. That fast, dude. <laughs> We're gonna have to dial in the uh, the wheelie control, pretty exact, because this thing's just gonna come right up. Yeah. Yeah. You made like 20 pounds here. Ten. Uh, ten and a half earth fuel. That whiskey is working perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That whiskey. Killer. Yeah. You see, that's the whiskey target here. Yeah. All right, so we are done for today. We just started to get into boost with the MR2, made just under about 400 horsepower on the second pull in. And we're going to be coming back tomorrow morning to finish this thing off. We scheduled for two days just because we spent a lot of the day getting the car set up and making sure everything was working properly. So we'll be back tomorrow and uh, hopefully finish this thing out and make some serious power. I've never been in a Ferrari either, ever. It is smooth. We just saw the smoke here. It's so it's smooth. So sweet, dude. Incredible. Dude, this thing is so sick. Gated manual. Get some of these. <laughs> it revs like a Honda. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Drive like it sounds. It sounds like it's revving like 9,000 RPM. Yeah, it revs high. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of fuel. <laughs> I need to get her low. Oh yeah. yeah. Dude, this thing is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Man. You're a <laughs> so awesome, man. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. See you tomorrow. This thing is so sweet. Man, that thing's fast. Well, it is.
it is the next day and we are back at Field Tech. We got the MR2 warmed up and we are getting right back into it. And this next pool, we're gonna be starting at 20 PSI. The electronic wastegate has been working perfectly. We even two-stepped it some yesterday before we left and kind of set up a launch control. We started setting up some safeties uh, with the laser height sensor for the, you know, all the wheelie parameters and stuff like that. Uh, but today we're gonna dial it in even more and start making some real power right here. Can I just make an honorable mention about how good this thing just started yeah. and fuel primed with no check valve? Yeah, the that cold was start impressive. on it was amazing. Just no throttle. Fired up, idled perfectly. Ah, yeah. Click the start button, two seconds later, it's idle and perfect. Yeah. I'm like, that is crazy. Yeah, she is running really good right now. Yeah, Lewis is about to hop back in there and make a 20 PSI pull. Keep going from there. He said if this 20 PSI pull go goes good and everything looks smooth, that, you know, we can shoot for whatever we want after that. 40, 50 pounds, give it the beans. And we're probably gonna turn it up a good amount here on the dyno, um, just cause, you know, they made a good point. If something is gonna fail, you'd rather see it happen here than at the track, so. We're definitely gonna give it some sauce on the dyno here today. <laughs> That's a lot. Jamie got That's us the plugs. Spirit, so. Oh yeah, Jamie got us some fresh oh, spark plugs sent over. Yes, sir. So nice, get dude. those gapped up and ready. So. Yep. yep. We went and went to the gas station, picked up some ice for the ice box, get that intercooler nice and cool, make all the horsepower. What a 600 struggle. horsepower? Yeah, I mean we're starting to figure out the dyno, you know? Yep. Yeah, we've actually had to make a couple pulls to figure the dyno out. That's cool, so that's it cool. So it sounded so good, good man. It does sound good. <laughs> yeah. Man, I was like, I'm so excited. I want to see this car in the 7 seconds. You'll take on board, man. <laughs> We ready to turn it up a good amount then? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm ready for 70 pounds if you are. 70 pounds, yeah. I think. 110? Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, if it helped. It's definitely better to, to have a problem here in the dyno than in the racetrack, like you were mentioning. Yeah. This is like a safe environment and, and, and we can control everything and even having uh, no, I mean, you, you, don't, you won't damage the car if something happens, so it is what it is. Yeah, after we shut it off, started making a noise on the dyno here, so what came loose on it? This was moving. Oh, this guy right here? Yeah, it has like a collar or something. Yeah. Making so much power, we broke their dyno. It happens, man. There's a turning wastegate target. So let's say targeting 20 psi is actually 20 and a half psi. You see, it's perfectly targeting. And then below you see the airfield tar uh, closer look as well. That was targeting 10.9. It was doing perfectly 10.9 airfield. So that, that's those are two different PID controls or closer look controls that that does really well. I love to see when they work really well. So we targeted 20 psi on that pool. This line right here, this blue line that's solid across is the target. You can see this line right here is the map. It comes up, meets the target. It actually goes barely over. Gate opens up a little bit to compensate and then it holds the boost perfectly across that target line. Like, dude, you can see so it over here close. too. So this is our target, 20 PSI right here. And then this is our actual, so 20.28 PSI. Dude, that electronic then, wastegate is working same, so good. Same with the AFR too, our target. 1090, 1099, and our actual is 1093. Oh, the actually adding. Enable the auto correction there. Let's see. That's how much it was adding to make it perfect. Way better now. And way better. This this line right here is what the O2 is correcting, so you can see it. This is how much yeah, percentage it's adding. Built in a correction factor, so if it's a little off, it calibrates and it gets our air fuel exactly where it needs to be. So in that, so on that pool right there, it had to correct 15% fuel to get our desired. Uh, air fuel. Yeah. Sick. Big fancy. Yep. <laughs> That's so rad. Brent's just over here <laughs> munching on a Chick fil A sandwich. I like the power jump. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me send a photo for uh, uh, Turbo Smart guys because they're so excited oh, about yeah. it. It's cool because they are a company that been working on the electronic wastegates for so long. Since actually to 2019. And if you really think it's, we were 2021 and now that is becoming popular. You were one of the very first race cars 
to use electronic waste skates. Very, very few cars already using, especially in drag racing. Yeah. So it's now so cool to see the product running, and they are so excited as we, mm -hmm. because we share we share information with every car that we test. We tell them. They also help us. So it's been very cool relationship with them. Yeah. I'm so excited. Right. And Marty, Marty, the, the Turbo's Marty is such a passionate guy about all this. So we're all the same. Same. Car guys. Oh yeah. Such a hot rod. Well, yeah, it's crazy. Shout out to Turbo Smart because that electronic gate is working very, very well, holding our boost exactly where we ask it to be. How much you guys ran before? 40, 40. Yeah, 45. 40, 40, 40. Ah, Absolutely fine. Yeah, we're twins. Fine. Yeah, we're not worried about it. So yeah. we're making the jump to 35 pounds from 20. Jesus Christ! All right. I mean, we have gate. we we have the data. I mean, anything so, goes wrong, he lets single, out. Single target, right? Single target, 35. Oh shit! Right? That no, you good. You good. That, that's fine. You need 35 to lose anyway. No, so, <laughs> no, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. We need boost, guys. A pro mod lives on over 20. Yeah. Like you guys are not leaving on 15. I'm gonna tell you that. All right. Did you want to just double check the timing? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is my kind of guy. Man, right. I don't we see just any. Go. For sure. Imagine if you give him man, a Corona. I learned, I learned I know. something. Man, I learned Listen something. me with some beers. Yeah, we could I, be I dangerous. Oh my god. <laughs> don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. <laughs> I have two kids. Hell Brent, why? Brent will give you the spicy tune after a couple Coronas. The first time in my life I seen a screw blower working, yeah. I had epiphany. I was like, oh. These guys leave the line at Four or five thousand plus RPM, fifty pounds of boost plus. They live on a tire shake. They run through the tire shake and go like 88, 60 foot. Woo. Like we're doing it wrong. Right. And we're doing we don't it wrong. need to we take power away. It's power down. Keep at it. You know, keep at it. You just need to make the chassis work. That's but the thing is, if you have a freaking screw blower, you can take power away. So you know yeah. that you know that the angel on your side. Yeah, take some boost. It's gonna be fine. There's none. Yeah. This screw blower is just the devil. That's what it is. He's like, I'm gonna keep the ball, that power there and the RPM there. Let's you handle it. that power, but you know yeah. that's that's the difference. And once you get there, like, man, hmm, that makes sense. This is gonna be the first decently high horsepower pool. 35 psi. It's just awesome to see you guys learning and growing with this stuff. It's so Ryan, it's wild, man. I'm getting nervous now. We're really, we're cranking Don't be her. nervous, dog. We're cranking her up. This here. Let's go. Uh, yeah. 45. Enter. 45 pounds target on the wastegate. This. To go 190. This should do over a thousand. I mean, the motor should turn 11.5 if we had yeah, to. We had to. Well, I'm gonna tell you this: like we rev like 10.2 already, right? And that thing was yeah. climbing. So yeah. Revved it. I'll, I'll, yeah. I would say no less than 10.5. The motor would be happy making power. Yeah. So. Was there any kind of like a boost set? Now that we're getting pretty high up there, I just don't want to hit a boost cut. Was there anything? No, it's set at 80. Oh, is it? The boost 80. cut's at 80. 80. Yeah. Oh, good, good <laughs> job. Good job. For for yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we've always got along. We parted. Well, here we go. We did set the boost at 45, but we're actually going to go ahead and set it to 50. And this is going to be the most boost the MR2 has ever made. I think the most it's ever seen is like 42 to 43 PSI on the dyno, or I mean at the track, but this is going to be the highest boost this car has ever made. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So we are definitely going to see over a thousand horsepower right here if all goes well, maybe even 1100. We're just going to crank her as if we're running it at the track. So here we go. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> what are the guesses? 1120, 1135. I'll go 1098. Ooh, price yeah, is right rules. I'm gonna say one, 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> 
We are sending it right now. 50 PSI on the MR2. Oh man. Gate held it. Target e gate. So yeah. Look at that. Came up. We had a slight dip because we're still getting this dialed in right here. Because the second it sees it, it's pulling boost out to make sure it doesn't go over. Then it puts it right back in and look how perfect it held 50 pounds all the way. Yeah. Like all the look way at that. the rest of the run. Perfect. The <laughs> as well. You cannot even see the target under the Yeah, you can't. It's perfect. Yeah. And the air fuel target, target was perfect. Yeah. yeah. I mean it's pulling a little fuel. That's cool. It's great, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's go! Now we gotta get to the track. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> this is gonna fly. Man, guys, 1,100 horsepower at 50 PSI. We're calling it good there. We cleaned up a couple more spots, but other than that, the tune is looking freaking awesome. We're saving the rest for the track. Man, I was super nervous, but I am pumped now. Car laid down some power. Everything is working beautifully. We have so many sensors on board. Reading, we have all the data we need. So this is freaking awesome. We're gonna go ahead and get the MR2 off the dyno here, get it back on its tires. We're gonna be loading up soon and heading back home, but the dyno session went freaking awesome. So can't thank the guys at Fuel Tech enough, man. Sounds spicy. That sounds good. So we got one more thing to show you guys before we load it up. Here we have ourselves carbon fiber trunk Hell yeah, for the dude. MR2. Go ahead and see how this thing looks. Looks really cool with that white yeah. inlay. So this was a custom done trunk by our friend Anthony, who was over here last time with the red MR2. You the know, one that like, Oh wait, no, we didn't film that. There, well, I did get some of it. Some we were it. talking about it, how he was on the fuel tech. We were just yeah. talking about it. Yeah, last time we were here, there was that red MR2, and it's on the fuel tech. He ended up hurting the motor, and now he's case swapping it. But uh, he does all the carbon fiber work for these guys, does a killer job, and he made us this custom trunk for the MR2 here with this white stitching pattern that looks freaking so awesome. Yeah. So, looks huge cool. shout out to Anthony. I'll put his Instagram right here, and yeah, it looks freaking so good. It's like so, five pounds or something. Yeah, this yeah. one is only five pounds when the factory one was close to 30 with the wing. So I saved like 25 pounds there. And now we have a trunk for the car and it just about has all its body panels back. Yeah. Just need an engine cover and then throw the front bumper back on and that's it. And I think we're gonna probably do some sort of drag wing to come off of that. Walk that guy a little bit, but yeah, came out freaking sweet, so. Heck yeah, let's put some bolts in that thing, get them mounted on there and load this thing up. Yes, sir. That was oh, so yeah. good, dude. Sweet! That is rad. Yep. Success. 
successful trip up to the hundred horsepower. Freaking pump, dude. It is badass, man. MR2 V2. Oh, you know what? Track soon. Stand back over there. Oh, Ignite? Yep. <laughs> Once again, thank you to Ignite for powering our <laughs> MR2. Got this trailer from Cletus like a long time ago. He's had this poster in here the whole it's time, like and now it works. They yep. hung it up for us just for today. They anticipated yeah. Ignite working they with us. They thought it was going to happen. Yep. <laughs> Ignite powering the MR2, so we got our banner already in the trailer. We're good to go. Heck yeah. Well, get this thing strapped down. We can make the trip back to Florida. Yeah, head on back. Unfortunately, Brent has to go to the airport. Yeah. He's not coming home with us. I wish. Because he's freaking lame and leaving. <laughs> wow. I'll be back. We got good bus. life this <laughs> weekend. I wanted to hang out. We only had to see him for two days. And then ice cream cruise. But yeah. we'll get to see him again. We'll see him on ice cream cruise. We're all busy running around. Yeah. It's been yeah. a bit crazy. Yeah. But he's been really busy. Soon enough. We'll be back. Yep. Get that set. Leave. All right, y'all. Okay, so let's see. Let's get out of here. This isn't the Hayden Wyatt show, bro. <laughs> this is Boosted Boy. <laughs> yeah, we wrestled. <laughs> Back to Florida she goes. That's it. So rad. Here we go. Pumped. <laughs> well, we got the MR2 all loaded up and we are fixing to head out. We got to drop Brent back off at the airport, like we said, but. Had an awesome time over here at Fuel Tech. Once again, huge shout out to Anderson over here yeah, so awesome. and Luis over there We're working on this BMW. But yeah. that is our uh, dyno driver back there. <laughs> Did a good job piloting the MR2 on the dyno. But I am super pumped on the power, 1100 horsepower. We still have much more room to go, but that is gonna be a very good starting point for us because we haven't driven the car in a while. Get it back to the track, do some shakedown hits, make sure everything is still working properly there. So we didn't want to crank it all the way, even though these guys wanted, you know, 70, 80 pounds, who knows what I would have done. <laughs> right. I mean, we could have very well threw down 1,400. But yeah, yeah, very well. Max that turbo out. Oh, the, the map sensor goes to 87 pounds. Yeah. Well, the map sensor goes to 87 pounds, so who knows how far we could have taken it. Uh, looking forward to doing more Thank with you, you guys in the future. And Absolutely. yeah, the hospitality and you guys showing us the software and everything, it's been awesome. Yeah. So we really appreciate it. Some more stuff, maybe the minivan, right? Yeah, yeah the, the minivan right? could be next. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this say, stuff you guys is ever awesome. Did a front wheel drive car on this? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. did like sport front wheel drive Honda. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they've never done a sport front wheel drive minivan. That's no. True. Okay. Actually, it's all wheel drive right. now, but we'll, we'll put it Can in it front wheel drive. Yeah, yeah, we just take the oh, drive cool. shaft out and yeah, it'll go right on. That'll be fun. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So. Guys are super knowledgeable, too. That's a big help. Yeah, this guy knows his math. Yeah. He's quick. The math is crazy. I'm not good at math. Yeah, it's awesome. They showed us everything, showed us how to dial it in ourselves, which is going to be a huge yeah. huge. We learned a lot. There is so much off camera. Brent was kind of getting all the data stuff, but we we learned a lot. So That was awesome. Yep. Looking forward to coming back. But we got to hit the road and hit the track. Looking forward to coming back, but right now we're hitting the track. Here we go. Let's roll out. See ya. All right, love you guys. See you, Brent. See you later, yep, my see dude. See you later. It Have fun. fun. Yeah, thanks and for uh, making it. Fun. Hell yeah. And I'll see you soon. Later, yes, sir. See you, Brent. Have a safe flight. Yep. And we are back in Florida. Just got back from our three-day trip. Got the MR2 unloaded. There's still a couple more things we need to do until we're able to take it to the track. And we will be getting that stuff done. And we're going to take it to the track as soon as possible. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This thing sounds so freaking good. We laid down some nice power, and that is the most boost you know, any of our cars have ever made on the channel so far. We're taking it up a notch, and that's a lot of power for a hub dyno like that. So she's making some jam, for sure. Really excited to see how the car will perform. But uh, other than that, you guys are going to have to hang out the next couple days until we can get this thing out to the track and get some testing done. Dude, I'm excited. So he's going to rip. Yes, we got sir. a couple things to dial in on the laser height, and then it's ready for a full pass. To the moon we go, boys. I mean, hopefully not, though. Hopefully not literally, but <laughs> figuratively, we're going to the moon. Yes, See sir. you guys.